up everybody, Brony here, back again with another episode of Hermit Skies, Project Ozone Light, Oh yeah. So, I, I need to apologize to you guys here real quick. I meant to record an episode, the reason why I'm not wearing a chest plate, because, you know, I made that, you know, I, I recorded it there, you know, I hit the old record button, but it didn't save. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too happy about that. You know, everything seems to be working now, though. So, we'll just press on from where we are right now. So, it's okay. Yes, yes, it's okay. Now, go ahead and we'll flip around here. We'll turn, uh, turn hover mode back on. Now, I've been getting some stuff. Besides the jetpack, which, you know, is complete and total derp. Um, you know, I've been sitting here getting some stuff and things done. As you can see, and it's getting ready to be night time too. You know, as you can see there, I uh, did up a whole bunch of compacting drawers with a drawer controller. So now, whenever I do any type of sieving, most of the stuff goes in here. And everything else goes in this chest right over here. And also, you know, I kind of took the liberty of uh, making up some diamond chests because I was running out of space. And took this walkway and this platform and converted it from uh, cobblestone slabs to uh, cobblestone damp from chisel. So, yes. And also made up a See, I think these were from last episode, but, you know, made up the machines, made up a basic capacitor bank, and also from, uh, and the questing guide, there was a whole bunch of stuff there for, uh, uh, alloys and the alloy smelter, which, you know, I opened up all those blue chests there and everything like that, you know, in the episode that didn't record. So, yeah. yeah. And also, you know, I had a few had a few animals spawn over here. And, you know, they spawn over here once in a while. And also, I'm beginning to mystical agriculture. Ooh. Ooh. What? What, what, what is that? What is that? Making a generating flower in the petal apothecary. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, the the frames. The frames. Bring me back the frames. My goodness, down to 18 frames? Are you serious, game? That's okay! I'll put those saplings in there. And the reason why I made up the, uh, the surge court seeds and Met the uh, the water seeds to make up one of the uh, one of the watering cans, and I could grow up these here sort of squirt seeds. But it's because today we're going to be getting into a little bit of AE. Oh yes, and you know, well, with that, come down, come down here. As you can see, oh, that got big. As you can see there, I got a little bit of uh, power stuff and things online. A little bit of uh, a few uh, magmatic generators from Extra Utilities 2. And a nice large basic capacitor bank from uh, Ender IO. And a little bit of uh, a little bit of nether lava. Now before before, uh, before, I start up, before I start up this episode, Chibble and myself... Or trying to uh, diagnose a little bit of an issue there 
with, uh, with this here endo tank and the lava coming from the nether. And apparently, as you know, you go in here, look at claim chunks there. You know, you got the claim chunks and then the ones that are uh, bordered in the red or chunk loading. Well, apparently, the uh, extra utilities chunk loading does not work for everything. Because when I was coming back to the overworld from the nether, I had the spot where, you know, I used the builder from uh, RF Tools and a pump card. Whenever I was coming back to the overworld, the pump was, uh, was stopping. So, you know, I had to actually make up an actual uh, chunk loader from, uh, from Chicken Chunks. You know, may I... Nice small little area there, two chunk radius, just to just so then we can keep stuffing things up and going. And these freaking Enderman guys. I mean, really, they're everywhere. But anyway, that's all the stuff and things that have happened so far. Now today, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up the old questing book here. We're gonna go into. Uh, uh, the AE2 portion of it. First thing we have to do is make all the presses. Now, with the presses, you have to get into mystical agriculture. If we pull this up, and yeah, you know, there's, there's the chunk loader, and, you know, that's the recipe for the chunk loader, which, you know, that hasn't changed from, uh, from 1.7.10 version, so, you know, If we go into A2 and we look at like the calculation press, it requires service course essence along with whatever item is used to make the pre uh, that the press is uh, used on. So like with the calculation, you use pure service for it to get the cut to get the uh, uh, what's it called? And I'm not finding it either. Well, it makes the, uh, the calculation processor, but it also makes the, uh, yeah, the printed circuit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I've done this. I've done this before. Yes, I know. But anyway, so each one of these so the calculation press the engineering press each one of these takes the item that it makes the circuit with so and <laughs> yay it's raining let's let's go ahead and let's sleep here real quick and yes I finally got overkill by killing an enderman with the OP sword of OP, that's right here, you know. Anyway, everything that we need right here to get started. So we go ahead, and we'll craft those up like that. And yeah, you know, we can make sure this that way, but first of all, we're gonna make the logic press, the engineering press, silicon press, and the calculation press. Yeah! Pressing. Pressing. Yeah! So now, you know, we claim the top blue chest, because that's what I did the last time, but yet, you know, lo and behold. So now, we can make the inscriber. Now, this is the old version of the inscriber, which, you know, it's, it's slow. It definitely is slow. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's slow. But, you know, that's what we got for right now. We also have AE2 stuff, which I haven't really looked at yet. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at that here real quick. And yes, yes, I did convert everything from uh, JEI to NEI. You can do that in the options. 
and uh, there'll be a portion here for uh, you know for JEI integration. So you click both of those and then click back and then back again. And they'll convert everything back over to uh, NEI, which is what we know and love. So let's see you know, what we get: stone and oak. Stone and oak. Yeah. All right. Those are about the best rewards I've ever got. So, since we, you know, go ahead and we'll look at uh, AE2 stuff. Pattern encoder. Crystal growth chamber will be something that we'll have to get into there. And the advanced inscriber. Now, with the advanced inscriber, it will actually do stacks. Like, once you put one thing in there at a time, it will actually put in a stack of items. So, if you want to do silicon, with the old version, it puts in one. With this one, it puts in a whole stack. And then it just, uh, it just goes from there, which is a good thing. But, since we're going with just that one, oh... Oh, it actually, it actually does put that in there. Okay, okay. So, you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll look at the inscriber. So, need some fluix, some sticky pistons, and some iron. Now, I should have some pistons around here somewhere. Now, you know what? I ain't going to look for them. I ain't going to look for them. We'll just go ahead and we'll make up a couple. And let's see here. I should have, yeah, some of that stuff right there. And then we'll come over here. Yeah. And then we'll come over here. Yeah. We'll go ahead and we'll make up two of those. And we can put the raw rubber with these to make sticky pistons, just like that. And we grab ourselves one piece of fluids. I didn't grab the iron either. Oh, okay. Kind of on the side of derp today. Okay. Inscriber. Yeah. And top blue chest. And quarter of a heart. Zombie charm. Oh, all the freaking charms, man. We have a place to put that. Yes, we do. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now, since we have the inscriber, we now need to make some processors. Now, the only issue with making processors is that this thing requires power. And the power it requires is AE power. So it won't run on RF. You have to convert RF into AE power. So go back in here. We'll need to make um, a energy cell and a energy acceptor. Now the acceptor will convert uh, RF or EU or MJs or whatever you're using into AE power. And then the energy cell will store said AE power. So, let's see now. Energy acceptor is quartz glass, iron, and then some flux. So, if I recall, the quartz glass is made with this stuff right here. Yeah, quartz glass. And we also need another piece of flux. And right there. 
right there. Yeah. So, see, so I'll grab that one right there, and then we'll come down here. And uh, I've lost my uh, my jetpack sounds again. And yeah, yeah, and not uh, okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that right there then we'll put the energy acceptor right there so now if we make up the um, uh, energy storage cell we should be able to start storing some AE style of power let's see now a little bit more uh, more quartz glass, some fluix dust, and then some sardis. Okay. No, oh, you know, we'll come over here. Pop that in there. You know, actually. I should make up a lot more of this and then make it into seeds so then we can have the pure fluix. Uh, for those of you that have never done modded before, when you when you do up uh, uh, surface cords, nether cords, and fluids uh, and uh, fluix. You had the pure version, which, you know, you have to make the seeds, and you put them in the stupid puddle, and they grow. Or you put them in the, uh, you know, this, you know, for this, for what we've got there, this is stupid puddle. You'll have a better version of the stupid puddle, which is uh, the uh, stupid, uh, stupid puddle 9000 MK1, which will have uh, crystal growth accelerators on it, which, you know, we'll get to that eventually. And the frame drop on that. Oh my god. But. Think of it is. You will actually double. What you get out of it. So you know like right now we have 7. So we get. Uh, 14. So yeah. Yeah that that is the thing that happens. So yeah we'll go ahead. And we'll make up some uh, some fluid seeds if I have any sand around here to do so with. Uh huh. Yes, I do. Okay. Take the fluids. We take the sand. We make the seeds. We put the sand back, and then we put the seeds in here, and then they grow. Now, don't expect them to grow overnight there. It actually takes quite a bit to get, to get those to grow in the normal part. Yeah. So. We'll go ahead and we'll make up the energy cell. Oh. I need some sort of quartz. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Energy cell. Now, since I'm putting the uh, the AE stuff and things down there, you know, eventually there I will have a couple of elevator blocks that will get me up and down without me having to fly up and over, and then back down again. Now, put that right there. Yeah. Now it shows it as being RF, but that's actually not a thing. It's actually its own. Uh, deliver uh, power type there so you know don't let that portion confuse it don't let that portion confuse you so 
Now we'll come back up here. And since we had that, we also need a little bit of uh, uh, ME glass cable. So, it, you know, that takes a it takes flux and quartz fiber, which is a little bit of glass. And whether it's uh, another quartz, uh, you know, regular quartz or fluix, there it'll always come out with uh, quartz fiber. Then. Okay, a little bit more Fluex. Now I'll make four. You know what? We'll do up a couple more. All right, eight. Sweet. Very good. We'll go ahead and we'll put all this back here real quick. And then we'll come back down here. All and we'll go eh, eh. And then we'll put, uh, you know what? Actually, well, I should come up from what I like to do is have it just like that now the reason why I'm having it like that is because you know this thing can be somewhat automated you know we can put a hopper on top we can put a hopper on the side and then we can go with a uh, oh a chest with a uh, with a transfer node into the bottom now for that that won't help with these but when you actually put the uh, the items together to actually make actual um, you know processors as you have stuff from the top, you have redstone from the side, then you have printed silicon from the bottom. So the actual automated portion there, that's what you'll, uh, that's what you get there when you actually put a, uh, a couple hoppers and a transfer node on it. So, you know, yeah. But along with that, we need to make up uh, uh, a drive and then at least at the very least, an enemy terminal. So the drive itself is engineering processors. The enemy terminal requires logic processors along with the uh, formation core and the annihilation core, which if I recall, those are both logic processors as well. Yeah, just uh, where we use uh, Certus cores and other cores for uh, for the different cores, and then we'll need to get into the actual drives themselves. Which, as you can see, there's quite a, there's quite a different number of drives there, or storage components, and then the storage components get put into um, um, Uh, storage housings to actually make the drives there for actual uh, storage. So, you know, yeah. It, for those that have never dealt with AE before, it, it seems a little bit complicated, but, you know, guaranteed there, it definitely makes life easier instead of having a whole bunch of chests laying around. And also, along with that, we can also set up to where we can have this wall be hooked up to the MV system and then everything that's here we can see without actually having to come over here and actually take things out directly 
Well, also we can make it to where we can actually set up machines to, let's just say we need a whole bunch of iron. It pulls the iron from over there, puts it into a set number of machines, and then it makes the actual iron ingots for us. All you got to do is just tell it. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm working towards there in the end. Well, let's see now. Get ah, kind uh, oh, we've already claimed the uh, the loot chest for that. So you know what? Let's make yeah, let's make one of each. There, since we're here. So one of those and. One of these. I see it goes like that. And one of these. And three of these. And three of these. All right. Now. That in there and that in there. Oh, give me that. Yep, so as you can see, slow. As you can see, I can only put one in, I can't put three in there. Yeah, I can shift click another one in there. Yeah, it won't start until the previous one is removed from over here. Which, you know, it's kind of... Put it in that one. And... Eh, eh, eh. And that will make... The logic processor and eh, 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 that will make the calculation processor and then eh, eh, and eh. Yeah, as you can see, it doesn't really matter for this portion what order they go in, just as long as they go in there and then it just squirts it out right there. Processors. Okay, top blue chest. All right, come on now, give me something good. Ooh, more of those. Yeah, yeah. While I was making the jet packs there, I actually got uh, two sets of these already. So another set, definitely a good thing. All right, so let's see now, what else can we do here? Okay. Growth acceleration, and then Emmy chest, which I, you know, that's one item that I have never crafted in my whole body Minecraft career is the Emmy chest. I've always gone directly for the drive. But you know, it is a thing. Looks like we have to do it, so you know, we'll we'll get her done. But. It looks like, is that still working? Yes, it is. Okay. So, it looks like they're looking at the time, you know. You know, yeah, yeah, it's that time. Yeah, we actually, you know, we were starting to get, starting to get things up and going there. Yeah. Go ahead, we'll throw all that in there. And you know what? You know. Yeah. We'll go ahead and we'll come down here. Just like this. Then we'll do that right there. 
Yeah, you know, we'll put all this, all this stuff down in there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice clean inventory. What I'd like. Definitely what I like. Hey okay, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of uh, Herbert Skies. Project Ozone Light. Now, next episode, you know, we'll definitely get uh, more in depth into AE. You know, we'll get a, you know, hopefully get drive set up and get some actual storage. I'll put a, a, a couple of elevator blocks in the floor so we don't have to keep on flying up and over every five seconds. And we will definitely get some AE stuff and things done. So, anyway. Thank you guys for watching. You know, I, I, I've, I've been seeing the views there. Uh, I'm sure everybody's happy there that I'm doing Minecraft again. So, you know, continue to show me the support. Make sure to smash down the old thumbs up button. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. I've seen, we're, seen that I'm up to 28 subscribers. Yeah, I hear for too long there. It's going to be the big 3 -0. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And as always, keep calm, burning off.